Hello, welcome to Scott's Odyssey. Today I came to a site where I, I promised you that today, New Year's Day, January 1st of 2022, we'd go someplace that was train ishes And well, we're here. I had also prayed really hard last night for a very nice temperate day because well, it's January 1st in Pennsylvania where it's usually cold. And well, we got that temperate day complete with the rain. But let's take a look at what I was talking about when I said trainish. See you in a minute. Welcome back. As I had said, we were gonna see some train-ish things. And as you may have noticed, there were a couple of trolleys behind me, but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for a little ride. And before we go for a little ride, I'm gonna show you some of the other toys that they have here at Rock Hill Trolley Museum. They were courteous enough to let us come down here, see a few things. You're gonna see a few things. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna ask you to do a couple of things, or if you're interested in seeing or doing the things that you see me do or see, you're gonna to wanna to do that too. So let's get right into this. As you saw the snow plow out there, we are actually putting the snow plows on both ends of this because we, <laughs> we don't have a working plow at the moment. That's my notification. That little sound you heard was an absolute stereotype. <laughs> it was a stereotype, I'm telling you. It, it's, it's like my phone does Star Trek sounds, the people at the trolley and trains, trolley and train sounds. I'm telling you, it's a stereotype. <laughs> <clears throat> I love the bell. Yep. That's nice awesome. And just in case, we got our horns. <laughs> Original Cummins. It's more familiar than this. <laughs> That is just awesome to have them. That stuff clock, is so hard to find. <laughs> just in Chicago, until they went bankrupt in uh, the 1924s and it was reorganized to the Chicago Aurora Elgin. This car was built in 1909. And you can see, You're good. you can see the design now you don't see a good close-up of the design. Enough to figure it out, but also you need to see this. So as they were going through and stripping paint, they gently started stripping the ceiling. What first got them is when they got down the wood and seen the uh, mahogany. This oh. all is yes, original this is mahogany. mahogany and the in inlay.
inside. What? Now we have to take the other end down. <laughs> now when we go through the pole, Oh, is it fast? I wouldn't say fast. That was cool. But, but <laughs> the doors were cool. <laughs> oh, the pocket doors. So what's the compressors controlling? Uh, the compressor is automatic. It monitors the air pressure in the tanks. So that provides air for the air brakes and the door operation and the uh, whistle. Pick up the slack. And make sure she's locked down. Yep. Sure it's locked. You come out here and make sure the points are all the way over the rail. Otherwise, the flame could hook the point and force its way back out, which would cause us to derail because that track's not set up for us. So we are ready to take off. 
So two bells to go forward, three to go backwards, one to stop. Okay. Now the, this car was designed to operate with a conductor. So the conductor, he's in the back of the car and would ring the bell and then the motorman would take off. The motorman would do whatever the conductor told him. If he told him, he would come so to the, stop. the people were not allowed to pull the line. That was the conductor that pulled that the line. That was the conductor. That's neat. Now, 311 and 355 are designed for one person operation. The box was up here. The motor room was here. You paid when you got on. Whenever you wanted to get off, you could see these buttons alongside the windows. Those were buttons oh, for the, the passengers to let the motorman know that they wanted to get off at the next stop. Do they operate? These don't. These are not hooked up. Just pretty. And that would be the little telephone wire that you would see, that we were seeing in the other one. It would probably come to a little buzzer bell. So we ready? Okay. Handle goes forward. Two, two rings. Slowly to off the brakes. One point. Two point. Now we're in the yard, so we don't want to go too fast. Right. Roughly walking speed, three to five miles an hour. But you don't want to get stuck in between points. And you don't want to stay in a point too long. Unless you're in the, the final point. Until you get to the final point, you're going through resistor banks. And the power going through it is burning the resistors. So once you get to four, four points, we're at full power. So that's a full 600 volts going through series. Through the motors. So each motor is getting 300, 300 volts. So how do you know what speed you're traveling at? Eyeballs? Just guess. I always, I always take it easy through here. Those are the remains of the furnace. Their hurricane that did more damage to inside Pennsylvania than anywhere on the coasts. Mm -hmm. This is a blind curve for us. The purpose, I'm sorry, go ahead. These are straight brake. These are not self lapping So you have to be quick. Yeah, I don't and know if I'm going to be able to pull this off. <laughs> right, that makes sense. Just to add more air and go back to lap. So we have reached the line. And your question was? I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Um, Besides that. All right, so we put up before we take off. Correct. Else we get this and sparkly. Correct. Bring the line down. Yep. Unravel. Now get a little extra speed. And gently pull it down. Pull it down. Pull Come down. to the left. Pull up. Keep the line straight. don't like to go swimming. Yeah, swimming's bad. <laughs> hand over hand. Oh, you just come down to the field stop. Come down to the field stop. Right, that was the pole, so go to the left a little bit. Left. Then come down. Down. More. There you go. Go up. Good. 
spin itself but there's so much tension you don't want to let it get away from you because it could end up binding right. the chain so you see there's absolutely nothing to worry about everything could go wrong <laughs> yeah, okay <laughs> so if you want to go ahead and practice so, so you don't leave it there right because of that right <laughs> On off, on off. <laughs> don't do, don't do it because because of that. <laughs> it, instead of going, hey, we stopped, we went, <laughs> and we don't want to do that. That's uh, not appreciated by some people. All right, so try that again. The kind of God save would us be. All. So then I would also leave. And then you'd ring twice. So confirmation confirmation. Mm -hmm. that you heard his command. Switch here. Keep the slip the switch. Find up that window. Yes. So the heat's working. <laughs> well, now, if you like to, all the hot air that uh, we blow from Odyssey. If you want to do a brake test, you can right now. So get, get used to feel the brakes. Now, don't go all, don't go past the middle because then you lose the air. Gotcha. So, so wait, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Yep. Yeah, this one. Yep. Okay. Now don't do any more. There we go. Hey, that feel. was a better stop. What do you think? Was that better? On the stop? Mm -hmm. Shut up! <laughs> You're off the show. <laughs> you invited us. <laughs> At what point does it become autonomic? No, well, plenty of practice. It all depends on the person. You I know, think how I'm much too tall to pay attention to the line. Well, you're looking at the line coming at us. Or we're down. You know, wherever you can see the line, you know, you're always looking and making sure that the line is actually still there. <laughs> Which fortunately for us, we know it's still there because we're moving. So yeah, <laughs> that's true. We only have one power source. So Charlie is named Charlie because who chose the name Charlie? I did. I just started. Everybody five wait five minutes Charlie ago, as we go. <laughs> just five minutes ago, I did. I tell everybody he's our oldest volunteer. He has been waiting for his replacement. speed up and if you want to practice a brakes at a higher speed fine yeah let's do that everybody get ready for the windshield <laughs> If I were doing it the way I had been doing it initially, the very first time, uh, yeah, we would have stopped really quick there. Mm -hmm. Really, really quick. That's that's cool. Yeah. This is neat stuff. Yes. You know what's been going through my head the entire time we've been driving? What's that? A remake of the Wiggles, where instead it's toot toot chug a chug a trolley car instead of a big red car. It's just been kind of playing in my head since you, you took control. <laughs> She's your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to cut that or not. <laughs> Can't you just hear That's so cute. To chug a chug a trolley car. <laughs> travel near the travel bar. <laughs> Car starts doing this. Okay, we don't want that. No. 
because that's the trucks wandering, trying to find their balance. And, and with them doing that, they're actually pushing the rail with force. Right. Which is widening out the gauge, which is creating more of a dip, which creates a bigger slop. So the trucks themselves are self-leveling? Yes. Okay. Because of the wheels. The wheels are actually cut and designed, and the railhead is designed in such a way that the weight of the car will actually put the wheels, if you're going straight, mm -hmm. the flanges won't be touching the rail. Okay. It'll be balanced. It's only when we hit the curve that the flanges come into play. And then the, the car is actually tilted because the inside of the wheel is thicker than the outside of the wheel. Right. That's how it handles the differential distances. It's, it's almost common sense. Again, it's one of those, who came up with that great genius idea? It, it's so obvious. It took years. That we've never figured it out. <laughs> so now we're coming up on coming through here. Okay. So you want to play with the whistle now? Sure. <laughs> so now, since we have view, we can actually see down coming through better and we see it cross. So we're always looking for traffic. Even technically, now we hear the whistle. Okay. Two. Short. We actually do the rail crossing scene. Okay. So we're going to stop right here beside the car barn and that platform. So How about right here? Does this feel good, everybody? Feels feel good. good? He's like, yeah. There it is. All right. And that was a nice, smooth one. So now go ahead and get full pressure. <laughs> Key in the neutral. And we are ready to switch ends. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was oh. very entertaining and scary to show. <laughs> okay, I want to thank everybody again for watching. Uh, if you want an opportunity to run a trolley, which is part of what you had seen today, along with a lot of other stuff, or if you just want to come and see these fantastic electric train cars, these trolleys, here at Rock Hill Trolley Museum, I'm going to leave more information down below and a link to their website. They are fantastic. Their prices are outrageously low, and the quality of the instruction is unbelievable. Is he smiling while I'm saying that? He better be smiling while I'm saying that because he was my instructor today. But aside from all that, as always, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.